Well, a lot of people ask me where I find the wonderful guests I have on my show, and I gotta admit, I find them in the strangest place. For instance, the other night I was invited to a party at Andy Williams' house, and it was one of those bring your own ice cream parties. So I stopped at a mall <laughs> shop to get some food and food. See? And you'll never guess who I bumped into. Well, let me show you. Uh... Yes, sir. Well, I'll have a little rum and maple, and uh, go easy on the maple. <laughs> okay, now. Well, for heaven's sake, what's D. Martin doing in a place like this? <laughs> Charlie McCarthy and Mr. Edgar Bergen. Well, hello, hello, hello. Hello, Dean. How very nice to see you again. Yeah, hiya, Vino. No, no Charlie. Huh? Mr. Martin's name is Dino, not Vino. Well, I call him the way I see him. <laughs> well, Edgar, I see the sap is running. He's always the same. Yeah. Nasty. All right. <laughs> now, gentlemen, gentlemen, now, please, every time you meet, why, well, you start bickering. Now, why not, I ask you, why not bury the hatchet? All right, and I think I know where I'm going to bury it, too. <laughs> You're not too funny since Jerry left, are you? <laughs> I can get along with Mr. Martin. You know why. After all, old friends like wine is supposed to improve with age. Hey, I'll drink to that. <laughs> You'll drink to anything. All right. <laughs> I, don't you mess with me, pal. I'll cut you up and use you for a swizzle stick. Yeah. Now, you see, Charlie, if, if you show Mr. Martin that you could be a nice fellow, he might ask you to appear on his show. Uh, 30, no. 30, he will never use me on his show. Why? Well, he just can't stand the competition. Oh, I see. <laughs> what competition? Mickey Rooney with slivers? <laughs> Did you ever notice, Thurgy, when Dean sings? Yes. He like Ken Lane's lit smooth. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Be careful, I'll throw you in a birdcage with a woodpecker. <laughs> Charlie, I insist that you apologize to Mr. Martin. Yeah? Yes. After all, there's only one Dean Martin. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. They don't make men like Dean anymore. No. After they made him, they threw away the shovel. No, no, no. no. <laughs> they broke the mold. Broke the mold, yeah. yeah. Well, I think you've really done it now. I'm sure Dean will never ask you to appear on his show. Oh, I don't ever hold a grudge. I'd be happy to have you on my show. It's very kind of him. He's a big man. Yes, he is. I'm glad to have you anytime, Edgar. You and Mortimer Sneer. <laughs> I told you he was a think. Oh, now, wait. <laughs> Thank you. 